What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Bama Saltwater Fishing episode. We are about to go do something cool that I haven't done on the channel before, but I've done numerous times before I started YouTube. We're gonna go do some freaking offshore fishing in the 17 foot scout skiff. But let's freaking go. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and let's get out there and go. Bye bye land. Woo. There is a lot of freaking action going on right here. So, a lot of bait, a lot of birds. Maybe get on a redfish. Toss this cobia jig out. Really need to get out of the ship channel where this tide changes and get in some calmer water. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Big wave. Golly. Woo! But this boat's handling it fairly well for what it is. All right, we're gonna try to go out there and uh, see what we can do. So we will see you out there. Boy, out here. Ah, get this trolling motor down. And tides was not right today <laughs> i got the men coated down i'm next to the rig we're gonna try this i'm gonna grab a cigar minnow out frozen cigar minnow to try our freaking luck with some king mackerel or spanish dang it is rough today Woo. all right this right here is a cigar minnow and all i did is take a number four three x strong hook and this is a treble hook 61 pound single strand wire and a small black swivel and 20 pound braid and i'm throwing this on my custom king rod it's a rain shadow 1087 it's a nine foot rod with a shimano saragoza saltwater 6000 hg and all we're going to do is free line this sig out here and it's called snobbling off of a pier and i call it the same thing off the boat so and we're just going to try a look and see if there's any mackerel hanging around this giant rig here I couldn't go to the one I really wanted to because the water was rough. So I barely made it out here and I shouldn't have come out here but in the size boat I'm in, but I did because it is white capping. All right, let's try our luck here. And all you do is cast this cigar mint out, let it sink down. And then once it sinks down, maybe 15 feet, you just reel, 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 reel and bring it back up. And then what I like to do is I like to leave my bail open and have my finger on the line. So when something takes it, you have to let it feed. And then once it feeds, then you can close your bail and set the hook. So let's see if we can get something. My drag is fairly tight, but you want to lose drag at first. You don't want to over tighten it because you'll pull the hook on these mackerel every time if you tighten too much. That beeping sound means this rig is unmanned. When, it's, when the rigs beep or sound that little horn, the rigs are unmanned. That means they don't have anybody on them. Tell you what, the trolling motor's working overtime. Oh, there's something. There's something. Let it feed, let it feed, let it feed. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Heck yeah. Get that hook. Heck yeah, man. Woo! Woo hoo hoo! That's what I'm talking about. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. What is it? Ah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Let it pull some drag. Woo! Ah, oh, got me in the rig, son of a gun. Dang it. Ah, woo. It got me in the rig. Got me in the rig. Dang, I gotta retie now. <laughs> Dang it. Now to rig up this wire to the hook, I just do a haywire twist, pretty easy. Make a loop, don't kink it. Do about five loose wraps like that and then come through at a 90 degree and do about eight 90 degree wraps like that 
and then come through with your wire and you don't even need pliers to cut it all you do is keep on bending it and it'll break right off so i'm gonna do the same thing for the swivel and get rebated up all right let's get another frozen cigar minnow here Na, na, na. It is rough out here. It got me in the rig. It just kept on pulling. It could have been a snapper. I don't know. But I was really hoping it was a mackerel. So let's try again. I'm not really after snapper. At least red snapper. But they are hanging out here. But let's try it again. See if we can get us one. Oh. Felt like something. Yeah, there's something. Let it feed. And get, get the hook on. Oh, did it take it? It took it. That gum it. Need to get another one. Okay. Another sig on there. Ugh. And let's get it out. Well, there's a bite. Something wants it. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Stripping line off. Stripping line off, and is it still got it? And stuff it up. Ah. What the heck, man? What just happened? <laughs> it stripped line off, and what it do? Cut me? Oh yeah, just chewed it up, man. That's not a mackerel. Could be a spade fish. Who knows? Why right here? Is I can freaking use the trolling motor from the back of the boat. Steer me where I want to hit the anchor without ever getting up. <laughs> All right, I got a pin senator. This is a custom pin senator I got for Christmas. 30 pound Andy Mono on just a pretty heavy bottom fishing rod. And I got a simple Carolina rig tied up. This is a six ounce egg sinker, a heavy duty barrel swivel, 40 pound fluorocarbon, and then a seven alt non stainless black nickel circle hook. And I just rigged up a cigar man. I didn't butterfly it, I just hooked it through the bottom of the lips up through the head make it real simple see what we can get down here red snapper like i said are out of season but there are a chance of catching some mangrove snapper which are really good to eat and a few other fish too so let's go ahead and drop her down and we're sitting in 38 foot of water so nothing too crazy i'm gonna scoot a little closer Oh, there's something. Ah, dang, that was a freaking hard hit. Still got it? I think it came off. I just yanked the heck out of it out of my hand. Dang. Oh, there we go. There's another bite. Come on. Oh, just choked it. Come on. I still got it. I think it took my bait. All right, try again. Oh, there's a big fish. Come on. Come on. Don't tell me it just took it without me know. There, it there it's hitting it again. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Mm. There we go. Got it. Got whatever it is. Oh my golly. <laughs> Holy crap. Dude, I got whatever it is. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Mm. Come on. I'm not gonna lose to you. Come on. Come on. Holy crap, dude. Woo. It is pulling hard. Uh. Uh. Uh, uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, uh, nah. What are you? Uh, there we go. I don't know how filming is. Uh, oh, that's a big red snapper. Oh, and it came off. Okay, he can't keep them anyway, so that's fine. He came off. Whew. That was a big one. <laughs> Dad, go. That was a big snapper. 
pretty decent sized red snapper and it broke me off right at the boat put a lot of pressure on them and i'm trying to mess with the camera but that's fine we're not allowed to keep them right now because the season's closed so not really what i'm after but it was a fun pull anyway i'm gonna put another hook on and see if we can get something else i'm gonna take this cigar minute and a half toss it down there because i used the head and got that big snapper Let's see if we can find something else other than a red one Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, came off. <laughs> All right, round, round three. Or <laughs> it's crazy. There we go. There we go got something not not a giant but it is a fish come on come on what are you it's a snapper oh that's a red it's a red snapper little red snapper so they're not in season so i gotta throw him back but these things are delicious to eat and you're only allowed two when they are in season. So we're gonna get them back in the water. We're not fishing, we're only fishing at 30 feet, so I don't have to worry about deventing this fish. So get the hook out. All right, and we're gonna send him on his way. There he goes, bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drop down a whole one. Now I didn't butterfly it out, but I did go through the eyes and then put the hook in the back. So see if we can get one big hole before it's time to go. There we go. There we go. Got one. Mm. Ah, there we go. Got him. Ah. Ah. Golly, dude. Ah. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a good one. Ah. There we go. There we go. All right. Going to get the bow going on this one and get him released. All right, that's another red snapper. So, pretty feisty, still pretty good because I fought him hard. Not a giant one, but that would be a perfect keeper if it wasn't seasoned, but they're not, so we're gonna let him go. There you go. All right, that's fun. Time to head back. I am feeling the waves for sure. So, I'm gonna head back. Got just a few miles to go. I mean, I can see land out there, so we're not crazy far. I did want to go to the one that I normally go to that's pretty far out, but uh, with these waves and wind today, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that safely and timely. So, but I appreciate you watching. If you're liking this video so far, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Let's go back to the ramp. back at the boat ramp that was a little bumpy ride but we freaking did it and the scout 177 sport fish freaking showed out today 17 foot skiff that drafts in less than a foot of water took it a couple miles offshore got some snapper hooked into what is that dolphin over there looks like dolphin hooked into some mac i think i hooked into one mackerel and lost it but they're not really they weren't really there and uh my normal spot i couldn't get to because it was rough there's two to fours and uh pretty choppy so Some ac going here a little bit of cool seats action oh it's hot
Well, that was a pretty eventful trip. So. <laughs> oh man, I am beat up from the waves, but dang, did this beautiful scout freaking take it like a champ for what size it is. But anyway, I want to finish hooking up the boat and head home. Had a pretty good morning. It was a lot rougher than what it was supposed to be, but I still went out and did it anyway. Always have a plan. Always tell somebody where you're going. Have a good satellite radio, VHF radio on board and know where your safety equipment is. Today wasn't crazy. It was a little rough going out of that ship channel, but it is what it is. We caught a couple snapper. I really wanted some mackerel out at the farther rig, but I just did not want to push myself that far out uh, with the way the wind was today and the waves. But the freaking Minn Kota, I'm telling you, if you do not have a trolling motor, wireless GPS trolling motor on your boat, you're completely missing out. And I paid a lot of money for this. They don't send me one. I wish I was sponsored by Minn Kota, but they don't send me free trolling motors and I did not get a discount. I paid a lot of money for it and it's well worth it. But anyway, I appreciate you watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you have, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up, that like button down below this video as well. I try to put everything I use down in the description below, but I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us and we'll see you later.